Good morning, my friends. Today is Monday, July 25th. It is the feast day of St. James the Apostle. So this is uh, James, the brother of John, uh, sons of Zebedee, sons of Thunder, they're also called. Uh, so this is James the Greater uh, versus James the Lesser. So um, James the Greater was, we believe, was the first martyr among the apostles. If you read in Acts chapter 12, verses 1, 2, and 3, we hear how he was martyred under um, Herod. And uh, we also know in, in the gospel story today that their mother, James and John, uh, came to Jesus and said, uh, command that when you come into your kingdom, I'm showing you a beautiful St. Isaac Jokes church as we're going. When you come into your kingdom, uh, I want my, my boys at your right and at your left. They're really positions of, of power. And Jesus said, uh, you know, can they drink from the cup that I will drink? Um, and they say, sure we can. You know, he says the positions to the right and left, that's nothing that I have control over. Um, but if you can drink from the cup that I'll, I will drink, then, uh, then we'll see what happens. And they say, yeah, we can. Well, we know that what that cup of, uh, contains, it's a cup of suffering. And interestingly, you know, St. James was the first to die a martyr among the apostles. And John, his brother, um, died of natural causes of old age. St. John's one of my favorites. And we also know that St. James was in the inner circle with Jesus. So at the Transfiguration, he had Peter, James, and John. And uh, when he went into Gethsemane to pray, it was Peter, James, and John. And so we hear when the church was beginning, Peter was the first among equals. And that's what we call the Pope. Uh, the Pope is a bishop, uh, like bishops around the world, but he's the first among them. The Bishop of Rome is the first among equals. He's the head of the church. And so, what is Jesus trying to teach uh, these, these apostles in this gospel story? That it's not about pride, it's not about power, um, and actually our authority comes from our, our service, our laying down our lives for others. I remember a story when I was in the seminary at Mundelein, uh, you know, occasionally we had formal dinners. We might have had maybe an important guest, maybe Cardinal George came in for dinner, and um, they'd have a formal dinner, maybe uh, tables of eight round tables, uh, and we would serve the tables. And so we would, we would sit at the table, but if, and they would put an apron over one of the chairs, and whoever sat in the chair with the apron was the one who served the table as well. And so I remember we were kind of knuckleheads, and we would race over there so we, we could sit at a place where we didn't get the apron. And every time we went, there was one of my classmates uh, who was always standing there, first one there, and he had an apron on already. And after seeing this a couple times, I thought, man, is he teaching us a lesson about what it means to be a servant. And uh, I won't say who it is because he has a, a prominent role in the church. And I don't want to, you know, because he is such a servant, he wouldn't want people to know that it was him. And so it's so good knowing that he's in the position that he's in uh, because he is a servant of God. He's not in it for himself. You know, Bishop Barron would always tell us, this life is not about you. It's about serving the Lord and laying down our lives for him. And uh, St. James and St. John and their mother <laughs> learned a lesson that life isn't about us. It's not about, you know, positions of power. If you look at the crucifix here, we have Mary and John. You know, they were humble. Uh, you know, John is James, James's brother. They learned what it was like to be at the right and left of Jesus in this place of humility and service. And so that always sticks with me. Whenever I'm, you know, now in a place of being a pastor, I realize this isn't my parish. It's not about me, but it's about how can I serve the people here in order that they come to fall in love with our Lord Jesus. Um, our authority comes in the way that we serve. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the saints, especially the apostles, and today, in a, in a special way, St. James. We thank you for teaching us uh, where our authority comes from 
and laying down our lives for others. Uh, help us when we're prideful, when we think it's all about us. Teach us true humility and service. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. And yes, to you and to your family, Buen Camino. And St. James, pray for us. God bless you.